Hey, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to update you guys on my health journey with getting my system back on track because I'm not sure what exactly I did a couple of months ago. I threw my system out of whack and I've been experiencing inflammation, bloating, and I've been carrying this excess weight. And no matter what I do, I tried the military diet, which I'm gonna link to up here if you wanna take a look at that video. But I tried the military diet and I could barely lose any weight after doing a very restrictive three-day military diet. And I've even done water fast, which is something that that I do regularly, but I'll do five day water fast. And even after not eating anything for five days and constantly drinking water, I still didn't shed any weight. So there clearly was something unusual going on. And after trying to figure out what was going on and trying all these random diets and realizing that these diets weren't solving anything, I decided to start getting serious about finding answers and I bought an at-home microbiome test through Viome and if you if you're interested in learning more about your body and your health in general I would recommend Viome I think they give you a lot of information maybe even too much information like they give you health rankings and updates and scores for things that you probably were never even curious about like the microbiome health in your mouth most people don't really talk about that we usually just associate microbiomes in your gut so they also will give you information about other existing conditions that you may be predispositioned to, such as emotional sensitivities, um, if you have anxiety triggers, apparently that will show in your microbiome if you're more prone to anxiety. They'll tell you how the neurotransmitters in your body are responding, how the mitochondria centers in your cells are responding. So it's a very in-depth test. It's probably a lot more information than you need, but I figure this is the best way for me to get answers. So I did the Viome test and it's an at-home kit that they just mail to you. So this is a video of what it, it looks like when you receive the kit. So I did the full body intelligence test just because I thought it was the best value and I wanted to get the most information that I could. And you send in a saliva sample, a blood sample, a stool sample, and it's not really the most pleasant collecting all of these samples from yourself. And then you have to like put in little baggies and mail it in, it's a little bit gross. But it's definitely worth it to do just to get information about your health in a more precise and more detailed way than you would get if you just went to the doctor or if you just did a blood panel or a physical exam at your physician's office. So this gives you a lot more specified information that's custom to the samples that you send in to their testing centers. So when you get your results back, they give you over 50 different health scores for various components in your body. And I discovered, not to my surprise, that I had a lot of low scores in the gut health area. So it said that my gut health, the gut lining, my gut biodiversity, my um, ability to digest food, my metabolism, my mitochondria, and my cells were all ranking very low. Not surprising at all because I've been having these issues with my system. I haven't been feeling 100%. I've been holding on to a lot of inflammation and this excess weight. And so this test definitely confirmed that for me. And then when I went through the chart and the specifics, and I'll show you these screenshots of what it looks like when you get your biome test results back and what your test results will show you. So it shows the low scores that I have in my system. And then it also shows you specific foods that you should one, incorporate into your diet and two, avoid in your diet. And I actually discovered that the foods on my must avoid list for the next 30 days actually were on that list because my microbiomes tested positive for viruses that were contracted from eating bell peppers and tomatoes, which is really curious because I thought eating vegetables were a healthy part of your diet and you should try to eat vegetables and I try to buy organic whenever I can. And I, I actually do eat tomatoes and bell peppers pretty much on a weekly basis because I really like those vegetables. But come to find out, I contracted viruses from eating too many tomatoes and bell peppers, which is shocking to me. And paprika was also on that list. I don't eat paprika that often, but I do have paprika in my kitchen. I do occasionally throw it into my cooking, but it said I contracted a virus that was commonly found in paprika also. So those are the three foods that I must avoid for the next 30 days. And then they gave me a superfoods list. A lot of the items on this list I don't typically eat. So beets is not something I have in my diet very often. Also acai berries, I really never eat that. But these were all superfoods on my list that Viome recommended. And then you have lists of foods to avoid, which unfortunately for me, eggs were on that list. And I, I really enjoy eating eggs too. But if you go through your negative foods list and foods to avoid and you click on each icon, it'll actually break down the reason for why you should avoid those foods. And so for me, I had broccoli on there because broccoli adds extra gas to your digestive system. And since my digestive system was not functioning optimally it was not a good idea to include that food into my diet so everything that they recommend and everything that they have on their list they break down the reasoning for you 
so you really have a good understanding as to why you should avoid those foods. So because I have no idea what else to do, I decided to just take their recommendations. I'm gonna incorporate their superfoods in my diet and I'm going to avoid the foods that they recommend avoiding. I'm cutting out tomatoes and bell peppers and paprika, which I don't really use that often, but I'm cutting out all three of these foods to prevent myself being exposed to more viruses that are found in those foods. And I'm also signing up for Viome's precision supplements and prebiotic and probiotics packs. I'm gonna start with 30 days just to see how I feel after taking them. They mail you custom made supplements based on the recommendations from your body intelligence tests. And then they will actually prepare custom prebiotic and probiotic packs that you'll take daily to help improve your digestive system as well. So I'm hoping after starting this program and getting my custom supplements and my custom prebiotics and probiotics that I'll be able to reset my system and get rid of this inflammation. But I will keep you guys updated on that journey and I will share with you guys how things go. Uh, but I just wanted to make this video in case anyone else is going through the same thing and they're trying to find a way to troubleshoot their body's inflammation or digestive issues and they can't really figure out why. I would recommend giving Viome a shot because that's what I'm doing and I actually feel very confident using them to troubleshoot this issue I'm having because everything that I got through their results list was so specific to my conditions and they also gave a very lengthy explanation as to why every single food item is on this list that I, I do feel like they have done a lot of research on my behalf and that I feel confident moving forward using Viome and their precision supplements. So I will keep you guys updated on how that goes. I'll make another video in 30 days to see if I feel any better to see if anything moves on the scale because I've put on a lot of extra weight that I can't get off no matter what kind of diet I do. So I will keep you guys posted on that and thanks again for watching this video i'll see you in the next one